Welcome to our Church for You service this Sunday. Well, we're going to be hearing about a very interesting character, somebody who actually I have a lot of sympathy for and also a lot in common. <clears throat> Obviously, I'm uh, for those of you who met me um, at the Mother's Union picnic, somebody said, oh, you're much smaller than I expected, but I know that most of you probably wouldn't have seen me there but uh, you look taller on the camera and I said oh well I like being on the camera then if it makes me look taller because um, I've always always been short I've always had to um, try and jump as high as I could to try and see the people that I wanted to see if I was in the crowd and even now, I have to try and stand as close to the front, but allowing little children to be in front of me because they're the only people who are smaller than me, apart from my niece, who I delight in towering over by about two inches because she's even smaller than me. So at one point, our hamster was the only, um, the only animal that was actually smaller than me in our house. Um, so um, everybody else is far taller than me uh, at home. So I have a lot of sympathy uh, with this particular person who we're going to hear about shortly. But now we're going to begin our service and I will say the Lord be with you and also with you. We've come together to be with Jesus. Jesus is with us here. Come down. For I'm going to your house today. For I'm going to your house today. Zacchaeus was a wee little man, a wee little man was he. He climbed up in a sycamore tree for the Lord he wanted to see. And as the Savior passed that way, he looked up in the tree. This is a story of God's people. This is our story. 
Today's story is about a man people didn't like. Jesus went to the city of Jericho. Jesus had been going around telling stories and performing miracles. Lots of people wanted to see him. Zacchaeus learned in, lived. lived in Jericho. He was the chief tax collector and he had lots of money. People for people from Jericho didn't like Zacchaeus as he had lots of money and a big house. People thought that he had taken some of the taxes for himself. Zacchaeus wanted to see Jesus but the crowds were too big that he couldn't see. Zacchaeus climbed a tree so that he could see Jesus. When Jesus saw him he said Zacchaeus come down I must visit your house today. People were surprised by this and shook their head. He is going to the house of a sinner. Zacchaeus said, Look, Lord, here and now I hear half of my money. I will give half. I will give half of my money to the poor. If I have cheated or stolen, I will pay back for t four times the for amount. amount for amount that is what? important. What, is, what important? is important is that Zacchaeus. Add, add a change. Add a change of heart. Jesus said, "Today, the salvation. salvation has come to this house because this man to." to is a son of Abraham for the son of man come to eat and save. save what is lost. Well, obviously the story that we heard is all about Zacchaeus or Zacchaeus. However you want to pronounce him, there's no right or wrong, just as long as it sounds right, that's the main thing. Unlike me, he was short, but unlike me, he was very rich. But he wanted, despite all of his wealth, he wanted to actually see and hear Jesus. He'd heard such a great deal about Jesus and that he actually wanted to, to try to actually get to meet him if possible. Anyway, the crowds were huge and he couldn't see, so he climbed up a tree and he tried to see Jesus. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm not very good at climbing trees and also I don't like heights. So whether or not I'd have been brave enough to have done that or actually um, almost like do a rugby scrum and dash out and uh, actually go and try and see Jesus that way. But despite all of that, Zacchaeus actually risked a lot. You know, he was there, he was prepared to go to any lengths to see Jesus. Despite all of his wealth, that mattered very little to him because he'd heard such great things about what Jesus had said and done. And he wanted that in his own life. So, when of course Jesus spotted him and called him down and uh, they ended up going back to his house for tea. So 
That's brilliant. What better uh, way is there to get to know Jesus than over, um, you know, probably wouldn't be a cup of tea or a sandwich or a cake because I don't think at that time that they would have things like that there. Well, I know that they wouldn't have had things like that there. But whatever the equivalent was, hospitality and welcome is very important in that part of the world, just as hopefully it should be over in this part of the world. But Zacchaeus wanted to actually meet Jesus. He wanted to have Jesus to come into his life. And hope, we hope and pray that that's exactly what you want to do, that you want to go to any possible lengths to actually get to know Jesus, to encourage him into your hearts and minds. Amen. Dear God, thank you for this day. Thank you for the birds and animals, the flowers and trees, Thank you for creating everything we see. Love and Father, we, we give our prayers to you. Dear God, thank you for our homes and families. We remember all those who right now aren't as lucky as us. Thank you for the love you give to each of us so we can share it with others. Help us to live a happy life. Loving Father, we, we give our prayers to you. Dear God, Please bless our schools as they prepare for us to go back. Thank you for all of the teachers that work so hard to help us learn and for everything they have done for us over the past five months. Thank you for providing a place where we can learn more about the world. Loving Father, we, we give, give our prayers to you. you. Our Father in heaven, Hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen.
whether you're big, tall, small, whatever age, whatever background you are from, may God's blessing be upon us all. And now I ask for the blessing of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit to be with us all now and evermore. Amen. And now let us go in the peace of Christ to love and serve his people, our family. Amen. Show. Sure.